Imagine you are a spy trying to send a secret message to your friend without getting caught. You could either send it through a middleman to protect your identity or have someone on the other side act as a gatekeeper, ensuring the message reaches the right person safely. That's the basic idea of proxies and reverse proxies. But which one does what and why does it matter for your application security or even your online privacy? Let's break it down. Let's start with proxies, also called as forward proxy. A proxy acts as an intermediary between a client like your browser and the server it wants to access. It sits between you and the internet, hiding your IP address and sometimes caching content to speed things up. How it works? When you connect to a website through a proxy, the proxy server forwards your request to the internet and then relays the response back to you. The destination site only sees the proxy's IP address, not yours adding a layer of anonymity. Common uses, privacy and anonymity. Your IP is hidden, which is useful for privacy. Second one, content filtering. Schools and businesses often use proxies to filter content. And the last one is performance. Some proxies cache content to deliver pages faster. Example, imagine you are accessing a media application through a proxy in a different country to unlock region specific content. That media server only sees the proxy's IP address, not your real IP address location. Now let's move on to reverse proxy. A reverse proxy sits in front of servers and routes client's request to them. It essentially shields the server's identity rather than the client's. How it works? When you access a service via a reverse proxy, your request first goes to the reverse proxy, which then directs it to one of many backend servers, depending on load or availability. Common uses, load balancing, directs traffic across multiple servers, preventing overload on a single server. Second one, enhanced security, acts as a barrier to protect backend servers from a direct exposure. Caching, can cache responses to serve content faster, reducing server load. Example, say a major e-commerce site uses a reverse proxy to distribute traffic across multiple servers so that it can handle higher traffic without crashing. Before jumping to key differences, if you love the content, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. Moving on to key differences, first one is who they protect. Proxy protects the client's identity by hiding its IP from the server, whereas in reverse proxy protects the server's identity, ensuring clients don't access it directly. Second point, traffic direction. In case of proxy, the client request goes to proxy first, then from proxy to internet and to the servers. Whereas in reverse proxy, the request from client goes to internet and to the reverse proxy and to the backend servers. Protecting servers. Use cases. Proxy, which is used for privacy, content filtering, bypassing restrictions. Whereas in reverse proxy, which is used in load balancing, security for servers and caching for speed. So when to use each? Use proxy when you need anonymity or want to access restricted content or you are controlling internet access in a network example office or school. And when to use reverse proxy? When you are running a higher traffic application and need load balancing and of course security is a priority and you want to shield backend servers from direct access. Or you want to improve performance by caching content close to users. So proxies and reverse proxies might sound similar but they serve very different roles. A proxy guards you, the client, while a reverse proxy protects and optimizes access to the server. Both play crucial roles in network management, security and performance. Whether you are browsing online privately or managing traffic on a busy website, knowing which one to use can make a world of difference for your application or personal browsing experience. If you found this breakdown helpful, hit that like button and subscribe for more tech insights. Drop a comment if you have used either of these in your projects. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.